A consumer alert for car shoppers. Thousands of vehicles damaged by Hurricane Florence's floodwaters could soon show up on the used car market. News 4 Jack's meteorologist Jonathan Stacy met with a local mechanic to get some pointers on how you can avoid becoming an unsuspected owner, unsuspecting owner of a flood damaged car. If you're car shopping and you don't want to end up with a flood damaged vehicle, a mechanic tells me just use your senses. Aaron Nelson is the owner of Aaron's Car Care in Jacksonville Spring Park neighborhood. He advises the first question you ask, does the car pass the smell test? When you get in the car, if you smell something that smells like a dirty sock or it's a gym locker, you likely have a problem. That damp smell is often an indication of mildew as a result of standing water. But a strong stench isn't the only indication of flood damage. You should also keep your eyes peeled for spots and stains. You want to check the headliner for any type of staining because that moisture gets in there and the car's closed up, it will circulate in there and it will cause stains. The source of those blemishes often lies underneath the carpet, so it's also wise to do a touch test. These water-saturated floors and pads are still drying out days after only an inch of water flooded the Sudan. Damp carpet could lead to bigger problems that aren't so obvious. All these connections, all these little micro connections right here, they've got little pins that goes in there. And all of this stuff mounts under the seat. Some of this is for airbag, seat, seat belt pretensioner. Don't forget to use your ears too. Listen closely for odd sounds during a test drive that could indicate problems. And a little common sense wouldn't hurt either. Bring your car here and have it checked out by a mechanic. It may cost you a little bit now, but save you a whole lot down the road. Jonathan Stacy, Channel 4, The Local Station.